The retinal module is intended for non-mydriatic imaging. Infrared light is used for targeting the eye fundus, and white light is flashed when the image is taken. The pupil does not respond to the infrared light, so the examination is convenient for the patient. Constant illumination can be selected from the device menu if mydriatic drops are used. Pictures can also be taken using infrared light for both aiming and capturing. Let's go through the steps for using Pictor with the retinal attachment. Attach the retinal module to the Pictor camera. The examination room should be as dark as possible. Both the patient and the examiner should be seated while taking the images. The patient is asked to look at a target on a wall 6 to 9 feet behind the operator or at the operator's ear. Either autofocus or manual focus can be used. Autofocus range is minus 11 to plus 3 diopters. Manual focus range is minus 20 to plus 20 diopters. Manual focus is recommended for best image quality. To adjust for refractive error, press the arrow key up or down. Each click is approximately one diopter. The infrared aiming light is turned on by pressing the shutter key in front of the device halfway down or by pressing the left soft key. Light is adjusted using left and right arrow key. There are 10 brightness levels. The default value is 5. Suitable illumination is typically 2 to 8. Infrared intensity used for targeting can be adjusted from the menu. Setting the infrared to high is recommended. The camera is stabilized by keeping the outer side of the hand against the patient's forehead. If adjustment is needed, it is recommended using the hand closest to the forehead to adjust the module. Approach the eye starting from about a 4-inch distance. Keep the pupil in the center of the screen. Continue to approach until you can visualize a grayscale image of the retina on the LCD screen. Still image is captured by pressing the shutter key all the way down. If in video mode, video is captured by keeping the shutter button down. Note, if you are seeing some white light at the top of the image you have taken, you need to push the device slightly further into the eye, compressing the eye cup more. This will prevent light entering the top of the eye cup. Conversely, if you see a white tail at the bottom of the image, the device is too close to the eye and you need to back it off very slightly. Images will be transferred to the computer when the camera is placed in the cradle. Pictor works like any digital camera creating a JPEG file. Locate the DCIM file and click to open.